What's up guys? So I wanted to share with you guys uh, basically how prep is going and like the shittiness of prep um, because it is not so glamorous as it appears to be on social media. It's not all about like the people, you know, you see all these, I don't know if you actually see them, if you follow them, you'll see, you know, oh, the, the ab check in the morning and the, you know, just like finished up shoulders and they look all swole and shit and they just look good right and so then you think oh wow that looks awesome I want to do it um but the thing is like 95% of the time it's a real suck fest and that is not what's shown on social media and that's what I I personally like I like that's the stuff I would like to see is the struggles and that being said, I want to share with you like my struggles, like what I'm going through, because I think that stuff is cool. Um, and like, there's so much I want to share with you guys. But the thing is, like, I don't know why it's so hard for me, but doing this, like, like recording everything and then putting it together, like, it's just hard for me. Like, like I just, I, I recorded an entire vlog, you know, like different clips throughout my day last week during one of my struggle, struggling days. And I haven't put it together yet. And it's like, and there's like a lot of little things that I do like that I want to share with you. But first of all, I don't know how to work that. Well, you know, like the Instagram story, it's 15 seconds long. Like, I don't know. I haven't really played around with it because to me, it seems like a pain in the ass to fucking record yourself for 15 seconds over and over and over. And so, I don't know, like, it, I, maybe it's just that I haven't done it. Like, I don't know if you're supposed to, like, record yourself on camera and then upload the video or you just, like, do it live and then it, like, cuts you off and so you just, like, keep doing it. But, like, it's such a fucking pain in the ass to me that I don't want to do it. And so I'd rather just, like, take pictures rather than try to like show videos or talk in a video because I feel like I just get cut off at the 15 second mark and then have to repeat myself and I don't really get anywhere. Anyways, that's my rant on the Instagram story and I'm afraid to do it because I don't really know how to work it. So if you guys have any pointers, um, I am all ears because I want to share with you guys like, you know, quick little clips of like my days. Um, but I don't want it to be a pain in the ass. Like, I just hate it when, like, this stuff, like, takes forever to, like, you know. Like, I don't want to have to repeat myself over and over because I'm getting cut off by the video. Anyways, okay, so. So, I'm, like, six and a half weeks out. And it is starting to get real. Like, the past few days of training have been pretty shitty. Um, I'm hungry all the time. It's getting really hard for me to like restrict myself from food. Like um, when I'm prepping food or, okay, like I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys. Like, like even when, either when I'm prepping food, I'll like grab extra little pieces um, that I shouldn't be, you know, that aren't like really weighed in. Um, when my boyfriend cooks his meals, he like leaves like little scraps and I will freaking make sure I take every little pebble of rice, whether it's burnt or uncooked or whatever, like I like scrounge for that shit. Um, the other day he like got a shake and he didn't finish it all. So he threw it in the trash. I saw it in the trash. So I took a sip of it and I was like, holy shit, that's really good. It's like a strawberry freaking Dairy Queen shake and it was fucking amazing. And I was like, oh my God, it's so good. I had to dump it down the, the drain, like the sink and wash it out. But like stuff like that, you know, it's just, it's really hard for me to hold myself back. Um, and it, it seems like it's harder this prep than last prep because during my last prep, my coach told me I could ha have all the jello I wanted and also all the vegetables I wanted. And like, cause he didn't like count for veggies because he, he, his perspective was, oh, you know, you burn more than what you eat. I don't believe that. You know, I've done my research and I've heard different um, points of view. I think all calories should be counted for. Anyways, that's how my coach now thinks as well. 
And uh, so because of that, there is no um, free foods really. Uh, there there kind of is, I mean like anything that's calorie free is fine. But gel is not calorie free, vegetables aren't calorie free, really nothing's calorie free, but there's a lot of like, you know, like there are some calorie free foods, but you just have to eat enough of it before you get, you know, before it starts building it up into calories. But anyway, so I'm eating less this prep, I can tell, like I know I am. Um, so because I'm eating less, I'm just, uh, I can tell like I'm hungrier, my energy is super drained. Um, I'm, I've got some, uh, I've developed some habits. Um, the, this trivia shit, somebody got me hooked on this and it's freaking delicious. Like, I don't know. Yeah. So trivia. I'd never taken like calorie free sweetener stuff before, um, but I had to take out like some agave and honey from my meal plan. And so I put some of this in there because like cream of wheat is like really bland if you don't have anything in there. And this blew my mind, like unbelievable, like so freaking good. So anyways, <sighs> I'll eat these on their freaking own, okay? Um, either down the mouth or um, I'll put it over my bell pepper or on my chicken something like just to like get something sweet it's kind of like exciting makes my food like taste good but it's also kind of addictive because I probably have eight to ten of these a day um, but it's like less than one gram of carb so it's like you know pretty much calorie free almost calorie free um, so I've got this that I'm kind of hooked on I've also bought in like some Walden Farms, the calorie free ketchup and the marinara sauce. Those are both really good. Again, I'll also just grab a few spoonfuls and just eat it like that if I'm like super hungry, just to like get some flavor or something. Um, and then I've also another really great buy is shirataki noodles. Um, I get, they're like, they look like pasta noodles, um, but I'll get like a whole bag and the whole bag is six grams of carbs. So it like really, it fills me up a lot more than like a hundred grams of broccoli or bell pepper or something like that. Um, and then I could put my marinara sauce on there, pour a bunch of salt and some like um, basil and stuff like that and it tastes delicious. Anyways, but like the bad habits are, you know, that Truvia and not being able to really it's just been more difficult to hold myself back when there's food around me um, Even if it's like in the trash But I mean if it's like, you know, obviously like still eatable and stuff so um, That's like that's you know that that's like for That's like for real right now, you know the whole just temptations are getting and cravings are getting harder um, and then like yesterday probably one of my hardest day so far and I would have loved to like actually record like everything about it and share with you guys but again it's like I'm not gonna record it in 15 second splits like it's just I can't I can't I don't have the patience for that um, but it's just um, it's tough like I start in the morning at 5 a.m. I do 30 minutes of fasted cardio um, at a pretty decent effort and then I'll eat because I freaking I like always want to eat first thing in the morning. I'm always, always been like, like that my whole life. And, um, then I'll do some work. I'll work on my computer, like kind of let my food digest and then I'll go train for a few hours. Well, leg days are always the hardest, um, because of like how painful they are. And then I also, I just tend to like over program myself, I think. And um, just looking at the list of like movements that I have to do becomes really overwhelming when I'm starting at like number one and there's like 10 things. Um, and so it, it just makes it hard for me to even start my training because I see this huge list and I already feel like shit. Like I don't have any energy. Like my mind is there, but my body doesn't have the energy because there's not really much fuel in it. Like really... I, I like have zero carbs in me by the time I start training and um, 
I just have like some protein and like five grams of fat really and like five grams of carb <laughs> but yeah um so anyways it's just like it's really it's really tough like yesterday I wanted to walk right out of the gym and I definitely teared up and cried inside um, because training's just really freaking hard right now and I don't mean to compare it to other sports but there's nothing like trying to train as hard as you can without any fuel you know like yeah CrossFit training is fucking tough you know like training for the games yeah it's a lot of volume you gotta be good at everything powerlifting was tough because my squats took forever like two hours for you know seven set, sets of singles plus the pain from the, the knee wraps but it's another thing when you just like don't have any food in you and yet you're still trying to train at that same intensity as CrossFit or powerlifting um so it's just tough because um you know you got to do it there is no and and it, it sucks because you know there's going to be a lot of days like that like I'm six weeks out that means I bet you anything half the days of my week are going to feel like that um and it's a grind and the only thing that keeps me moving and continue to like chip away is the fact that I've built, I know that that's what it takes. Like I know that I've, I've created the habits to push through it. And I know that I can't not do it. Like I can't not train. I can cut down a set or maybe cut down some reps or cut down the weight or something like that. But, um, I know that if I don't complete my training, I'm going to feel incredibly guilty and I'm going to feel like shit walking out of that gym. And there's a point where I will walk out of the gym because I just don't have anything in me and I just need to rest. Um, but it, I have to be like in a pretty bad state, like really bad in order for me to do that. Um, yesterday I was almost there, but I knew like because I had it up here and I just didn't have it in my body, like I knew my mind could pull me through it if I just worked on it one rep at a time. But um, yeah, so it's just like, it's a grind, dude. It is such a grind. And, um, um, sorry, I get distracted. Somebody's getting in their car right here, but it's, it's, and you guys don't get to see that part, you know, and I try to like communicate that, but you don't really get to see it, you know, because I'm in my, it's, I'm in the moment, you know, like I'm crying on the inside I'm not gonna grab my camera so I can show you guys real quick that I'm crying you know like it like it'd be easy if I had like a freaking camera crew to like film and sh really show you what it's all about but for me to like stop what I'm doing just to grab my camera to show you guys it's it's kind of weird I think but anyways so that's that's what's going on um also I mean another thing that does keep me going is I know like I'm making progress like I can see it in my I am getting leaner and you know I can start to see more definition and stuff so I know that I just got to keep grinding at it you know keep grinding away um, and that's just what it takes so I you know I've got six weeks six weeks left that I got to do this and probably the last week will be a little less volume and stuff as I lead up to the show so really it's almost like five weeks so, but yeah, so that's prep. And I just want to share that with you guys because, um, it is not as glamorous as it looks on social media. Like, yeah, I look good, but first of all, I feel like crap. Like it's really hard for me to train. So it's not maintainable. Like I'm going to try to barely get through these five weeks. Um, and if, if I didn't train, I'd be losing all my muscle mass. So then I would start to just become skinny, you know, um, rather than strong and toned. Um, so, like, it really isn't maintainable. Like, you, you think that, oh, or even I think, like, oh, maybe I can maintain it. Um, 